All right, so kicking off the Chusa College special of issue now, we're going to first start with the domestic politics issue. Uh, again, I don't know how things pan out with you guys, especially if you're uh, w- different parts of the world, uh, whether or not you and your family members talk uh, politics uh, during these gatherings. Uh, certainly uh, must not talk about this issue at my uh, dining table here because there's so much conflicting ideologies. But it is very important, right? We also want to kind of look at uh, what the public response has been so far. For this, we're going to be turning to Professor Hong sung uh, at the School of Public Administration at Kungmin University. Uh, Professor Hong, happy Chuseok to you, and uh, thank you very much for joining us tonight. Uh, thank you very much, and thank you for having me here. Yeah. So uh, since it is, uh, we're going to be talking about politics here. Uh, we, of course, mm-hmm. have to talk about uh, President Yoon's approval ratings. Let's face it, it's, uh, I mean, it's only been four months, but it ha- hasn't been all so rosy for President Yoon. He did see his uh, ratings kind of jump up back to the 30s after kind of uh, staying in the, the high 20s for a bit. Why is it so low, even though, again, it's early in its term and, uh, you know, a lot of people talk about the honeymoon phase of uh, Mm -hmm. the new presidents? Well, unfortunately, President Yoon did not have so-called honeymoon period with the previous uh, administration. And that's the first thing. And there are many different uh, causes for this kind of low uh, approval rates. Uh, For instance, uh, I think... uh, President Yoon is a political novice. In other words, he's the kind of uh, first time uh, he became the president in less than a year that he started uh, politics in Korea. So uh, he doesn't know much about uh, political uh, dynamics and what uh, kind of uh, uh, provided uh, many uh, dissatisfaction, disappointment uh, to the general public. And also, uh, uh, the biggest co- uh, uh, concern of the people is the, uh, his kind of uh, mistake in, in staffing uh, within the presidential office as well as uh, the cabinet members. So that's another one. And also, uh, the, uh, he, he has uh, been in, uh, kind of surrounded uh, by the inner party conflicts within the, uh, the ruling party. So he cannot control... Uh, he he seems to be kind of uh, be in a position to control, but he cannot really control. So yeah. that is kind of a major reason. But uh, in addition to that, there are many other uh, reasons. Say, for instance, the media, for example, are still controlled by the people who were appointed by the uh, 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 former President Moon. And also, all most of these anchors, producers of these uh, major uh, media, uh, such as KBS and NBC, uh, those people with different political value systems. So uh, that also, pro- I think, provided the lower kind of approval rates uh, from the general public. But it kind of also seems like, uh, you know, some of the more conservative newspapers, like, for example, like Chungang Ilbo, right? Uh, it, it seems like they're also kind of criticizing uh, President Yoon as well, which was oh, which was a little bit surprising, right? Because, I mean, during the uh, the campaign pledge, uh, we knew that, uh, you know, Chungang Ilbo, Tung Ilbo, and then Chosan Ilbo, they're going to be, uh, of course, in full support of uh, President Yoon. But uh, it, it does seem quite odd, in my opinion, that, like, uh, outlet like Chung Ang has kind of been criticizing very heavily on uh, uh, on President Yoon, but like, does that surprise you though? No, I don't. I don't think I'm not surprised. <laughs> they are media, and that's the role of the media to criticize if uh, the government, or, uh, you know, even though they uh, these uh, these uh, media are uh, uh, kind of classified as a kind of conservative media, right? But uh, the government at President Yoon. And the presidential office, if they made a mistake, they made uh, they they uh, did the wrong doings. You know, they are criti- They are free to criticize, and I think it is it is natural. The critical problem in Korea is that some, not all, but some media always hypocritical, uh, very hypocritical to the ruling party and uh, President Yoon's government, and they don't. Want to see the the good things 
instead of that, they, they always criticize. Right, so right. I think uh, the Joseon Ilbo, Jungang Ilbo, and other uh, kind of conservative, conservative media play their role exactly what they are supposed to do. Yeah, okay. it, it does seem like, you know, <laughs> criticisms garner more attention uh, mm-hmm. from, yeah, of the, from the viewers, uh, which but, is. But they have to do because they have to, have to as a media, they have to provide the, the right. Information and right viewpoint right. to the general public, and also the general public in Korea uh, uh, will decide and uh, uh, based upon their own judgment. You know, uh, unlike other countries in Korea, more, about eighty percent or higher of the high school graduate uh, go enter into the universities. So they, these uh, Korean people, are very, very. Uh, intelligent, and they are—they uh, are really—they uh, can decide uh, what's wrong and what's uh, what's good. So don't worry about it. I don't think they—that's—that's uh, uh, that's a kind of uh, m- m- that affects the presidential popularity of this uh, present year. Yeah, I mean, because the the thing that worries me quite often, uh, and it's because a lot of the younger generation these days, despite the fact that, like you said, I mean, many of them go to university and they have higher mm-hmm. education, but they do get a lot of their sources, of, you know, news sources from, you know, social media platform where uh, mm-hmm. it, it's not necessarily uh, the yes, most yes. accurate uh, news, mm-hmm. right? And so they base it on that or they base it on uh, some of the comments being made by the netizens. Uh, and, yeah. you know, they think, oh, I guess if they're saying it, it's the right thing to do. So, yeah, you're right. I think I, I'm hoping also that people mm-hmm. are smart enough to know what's right and what's the wrong news mm-hmm. uh, at the same time. Uh, but, Professor, if the approval rating uh, continues to slide down, uh, how is this going to ultimately affect this job? And at what point do you say it, it shouldn't go lower than this? And it, if it does hit a certain this point, it's becoming a problem. Well, uh, there is no kind of uh, uh, numerical uh, guideline right 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 uh, to have uh, to be uh, to push all this presidential agenda ahead however uh, from the point of the present union the ruling party uh, the PPP people's uh, people what is a power party and uh, they have a, uh, they are minority party in in, uh, Nas- in the national assembly that's now. right uh, 169 seats in fact more than 170 seats are controlled uh, by the opponent the the uh, the uh, Democratic Party and therefore uh, the, under this kind of situation, President Yoon need more much a high, much higher po- uh, popularity among the general public in order to push uh, his own agenda ahead. However, as you just pointed out, uh, you know about uh, now is uh, about four months it has passed and his popularity is like about slightly less or over thirty percent. Right and this is not uh, enough uh, to push his program ahead. So I think he should uh, be more careful and more uh, uh, kind of strategic uh, to increase uh, the popularity in the future. And he also has to uh, kind of exercise his own, uh, all of his power to uh, to implement what uh, the general public uh, would like to uh, have uh, in the future, say, for example, the economic policy package or the the policy packages and programs uh, toward the North Korea and uh, East Asia, uh, East Asia uh, I mean, in the region of East Asia, uh, I think these, these, you know, policy packages are right on the right track, but they are not really known to the public in, in kind of full uh, uh, spectrum. So, I think uh, he should uh, strengthen uh, more kind of advertising and uh, let uh, the people know what actually happened uh, in in his government. Uh, that's I think uh, will will increase uh, slowly his presidential popularity. Again, I mean, uh, like you said, I think the big thing is the uh, the general elections in uh, 2024, right? Uh, if uh, mm-hmm. President Yoon's uh, approval rating continues to slide down, uh, I guess the approval rating for the PPP is going to continue to slide down. And will the voters uh, eventually uh, vote for 
uh, any of the uh, the PPP members there, which again, I think that's like the big task for the ruling party mm-hmm. at this time because the National Assembly, like you said, dominated by the uh, the Democratic Party. Uh, the twentieth presidential election of South Korea. I mean, that was <laughs> it was a very dramatic one. Oh, yeah. uh, you know, a difference of a mere zero point seven three percent. How would you interpret that very small margin of victory for uh, President Yoon? Yeah, well, it is the smallest margin ever in the Korean uh, presidential election. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, the winner takes it all. You yeah. know, that's that's uh, that's the rule. So even though uh, his margin, uh, I mean, the, the winning margin is very l- uh, less, but uh, he has all the power. So it's up to President Yoon and his government to uh, change the whole situation. Now we are in a very difficult situation in terms of uh, uh, economic and as well as, you know, other, you know, uh, you know, uh, other areas uh, because we have just the typhoon, which is a very strong typhoon, and there are many um, sacrifices on that. So what I'm well, I'd like to say is that even though it's less than 1%, it does not have big meaning uh, to uh, the to the role of the government and uh, to the uh, power of the government to push all his program ahead. The critical uh, meaning for that is that Korean politics and the general public are divided in each extreme direction. Right. In other words, there is uh, not many uh, people uh, located in in the middle. And that's a worrisome situation. But uh, other than that, I think it, the, the, the number itself does yeah. not make any big sense. Yeah. Well, I, I think you do make a very good point. I mean, you're right. It doesn't matter what the difference is. Uh, eventually, the winner takes on, right? And you, you see mm-hmm. that kind of with, like, even the U.S. presidential election where, you know, you had cases where, uh, mm-hmm. was it, uh, Hillary Clinton had the uh, the popular vote. Popular but, uh, vote. But, <laughs> but, you know, Donald Trump yes. had the, the electoral right. vote. And that that's what mattered. I mean, people were going to complain, but... Uh, mm-hmm. Eventually, I mean, the winner takes it all, right? Uh, that's, the, that's the rule, anyway. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the public seems to really differentiate the current Yoon administration. I should say President Yoon himself, specifically, uh, compared to uh, the president, uh, previous president, uh, two major ways. Now, the first being the so-called doorstepping, right? I mean, this was uh, really new. Uh, other being, of course, the, the moving of the presidential office, which was major uh, just kind of dipping into the doorstepping sessions a bit. Um, again, it's something that's completely different from the previous administration. What are your right. thoughts on the doorstepping session? Because there were some mixed, uh, you know, looks in regards to this. Well, you just uh, pointed out two, but actually that's the, uh, the, just one one thing because uh, he. Uh, kind of returned to the Blue House to the general public, and therefore he has to move to the presidential office to Yongsan. And then, uh, because there is no uh, residential area within the uh, presidential office, and therefore he has to uh, come into uh, to the building every morning. So <laughs> automatically he can uh, do his what is called the doorstepping. It's a short interview with uh, the correspondents. Uh, um, you know, state and, and the prison office. I think it was a very uh, good and fresh idea and also good attempts to communicate with uh, these correspondents, uh, uh, with the correspondents uh, by, you know, every day, like, you know, normally every day. And the uh, president himself explained the, diff- the, the, the good things and bad news, any kind of things, and then also... Uh, uh, Receive some uh, questions from these respondents. I mean, the correspondents. So, I think former president they would like to also uh, do similar things, more communication with the general public. But when they come into get the, they uh, they enter into the blue house, uh, they cannot continue to push this kind of uh, plan ahead. But uh, from from the very beginning, President Yoon never ever enter into the Blue House, and then uh, with uh, although there are many criticisms about uh, you know moving out from the Blue House, but he actually implement his own plan. So I think uh, by doing uh, this kind of doorstepping session, uh, people can understand more and more about what's going on uh, through 
president's own kind of mouth every morning. And, and I think this is a value, really valuable opportunity for uh, the general public, for the citizens. So I hope uh, no matter what happens, even though there are many criticisms, many uh, you know, opponents uh, criticize every day, uh, almost every day, every hour, actually. But I would like to uh, kind of, if I can, I would like to ask him to continue uh, this kind of, uh, you know, uh, uh, doorstepping. Well, that was one of his uh, campaign pledges, right? He wanted to reach out That's to the right. public uh, much better. And uh, this was one of the things that he was doing. Although, although, like you said, I mean, it was met with some criticism, even amongst his own, uh, you know, PPP party members saying that, oh, you know, it's kind of, you know, impromptu. So kind of watch out uh, for what you say, be a little bit more formal. But it, it does seem like the doorstepping session did change a bit after uh, President Yoon's uh, oh, yeah. brief uh, summer vacation. <laughs> Professor, how would you say he could use this opportunity, this uh, doorstepping session, in, in a, uh, a better way? No, I think uh, uh, you're right. At the, big, at, at the beginning of his term, he was quite uh, kind of, uh, what can I say, uh, boastful of himself, mm-hmm. or he's quite proud of himself. And he would like to compare his administration uh, to the uh, previous Moon, uh, Moon Jae-in administration, and he did a lot of comp- comparison. And that actually provided uh, dissatisfaction and criticism about his doorstepping. Now, after kind of summer vacation, he uh, changed his his method as well. As you know well, first he uh, he usually gives a short speech about the current situation, uh, important issues, and then accept two or three uh, questions from the uh, correspondents. I think this is a good idea. And also, uh, he, uh, you know, this kind of things can be uh, should be continued. And also, he would like he should touch the sentiments of the general public in order to uh, provide uh, the more kind of reliability, credibility on his message. I think this is a critical moment that President Yoon uh, can uh, rebuild the trust from the general public. Let's talk about the uh, the change in the presidential office. Uh, we went from the Blue House, uh, Cheongwade, to the Yongsan presidential office. Again, another issue where it was uh, it was highly praised by one group. Uh, again, but it was also met with some criticism, uh, mm-hmm. saying that it was going to cost a lot of money to move and things like that. Well, what's been kind of the overall public's reaction after four months or so? Well, as I said before, the publics are quite uh, highly divided at in, in at extremes in extreme sense and therefore uh, like a 50-50 or something like that one group is very hypercritical and the other group is hyper uh, kind of uh, you know uh, welcome uh, this kind of uh, movement so uh, you know general public is are always kind of divided and this is uh, in in a sense due to that the politicians uh, kind of uh, uh, agitation of the general public's sentiment as well. But anyway, uh, the uh, the evaluation of what he have done by moving from Chongwade Blue House to Yongsan area presidential office, the new presidential office, uh, can be evaluated. I think uh, we at least uh, more time uh, should be should have uh, should should pass because it, it is to only only four months and we have new presidential system new presidential office and and also after uh, about three months of uh, uh, 100 days of, uh, of his presidency his term uh, the major reshuffling of presidents uh, the staffs of the presidential office are now going on so I think all this in combined way should be evaluated later on. Yeah. More, we need more time to evaluate. Right. I, I, that, that was the thing, right? I mean, there was a lot of, you know, low, even with the low approval rating, uh, you know, we've, you know, President Yoon is relatively, he's a political rookie in, in many sense. I mean, he hasn't been in mm-hmm. politics for a very long time. So give him the benefit of the doubt, give him some time to kind of adjust himself. And we'll see later on how this all pans out. Uh, we're going to quickly move on to some other issues here. Wow. Why, you know, it's 
talk about politics and time flies. Uh, oh, sure. w- one of the things, uh, one of the reasons for why his approval rating has been slipping was basically the staffing issue, right? I mean, there was some staff reshuffling in uh, key positions in the presidential mm-hmm. office. It, it does seem like it's getting handled at this time. Still, though, we have uh, no health minister. We have no education minister. Mm-hmm. Why are we continuing to see staff problems. What's the fundamental clause, uh, very short, uh, briefly here? Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> uh, like, uh, you know, when a uh, new uh, president came in, and then he would like to appoint uh, those uh, ministers, uh, including the prime minister. Normally, uh, the personnel office recommend at least about 30 people, the list, from the, uh, the most preferred person to the least preferred person. In that case, most of the people who are up on the list uh, generally uh, tends to, uh, you know, kind of, uh, uh, what can I say, resign from that appointment. They, they don't want to be in that position. So it's very hard for them, uh, for the president and president office, to find out the right person on the right position. One of the main reasons, of course, is because of the uh, uh, the uh, hearings that are, you know, kind of, uh, what can I say, is uh, the, uh, yeah, the hearing itself is not really the hearing, but just to, you know, uh, uh, let them, uh, let the people who are appointed in a minister position, uh, you know, kind of uh, make it uh, very, very uh, humble. So it's really, really... Uh, I myself, for example, if I was appointed, I am appointed by the, in the position. I will never make, never go to that position. So most of the people think in that way, and therefore it's very hard for them uh, to find out the right people. And on the other hand, this time, I, as I said before, the, all the uh, the committee, because uh, 170 uh, seats are controlled by this, uh, the Democratic Party, so all the uh, committees are controlled by the uh, Democratic Party, and therefore uh, this uh, personal hearing is very, very uh, uh, kind of difficult for them to to uh, to uh, to process. And that's another one. And also, he, as as you uh, know, some uh, several, like uh, two to three people, were uh, formally appointed and get the hearings, or before the hearings, they they. They were criticized by the all these media and the general public, and they have to resign. So all all these kind of situations uh, crit- uh, critically, uh, uh, you know, for the Yun uh, Yun's governments take uh, more time compared uh, to uh, the former uh, government, the former administrations. Uh, Professor, we have about uh, four minutes left to get okay. to as many questions as possible here. I <laughs> uh, wish we had some more time. Uh, very quickly on this one, I mean, there's been some internal conflict within the uh, People Power Party, obviously stemming from uh, Idrin Sak, the former uh, chairman of that. Uh, can this party kind of really turn things around and quickly resolve the internal conflict? Well, many uh, conservative uh, uh, people uh, really hope for that, but uh, depending upon uh, the the court's decision, uh, it's not easy for them to to make it uh, uh, on the right track. But uh, we have new uh, uh, chairman, uh, pr- uh, emergency committee chairman, is appointed, and then. Uh, he uh, he will uh, con- you know continue to form uh, the new emergency committee. Uh, so I think it's going to be quickly uh, uh, normalized, uh, you know, within uh, near uh, you know, several days. And uh, of course, another thing that uh, we're seeing is not just the the internal conflicts, but uh, well, we're actually seeing internal conflicts with the Democratic Party as well. So both parties <laughs> are going through this, which, by the way, doesn't get mentioned as much. But mm-hmm. right now, the National Assembly is having its 100 day regular session here. Uh, what are some of the things that people should focus on about uh, on about this year's session? Well, well, the the the, uh, the even uh, mostly the, the this uh, regular session is for the uh, the budget session actually. So uh, people have to focus on what's going to go, uh, how much, and what kind of uh, programs will be 
uh, passed through the National Assembly is important. But on the other end, as you just mentioned, uh, the the pres- uh, what can I say, the chairman or the president of the uh, of uh, the representative of uh, of uh, Democratic Party, uh, uh, National Assembly, Mani Jemyong, has uh, uh, lots of uh, legal uh, risks. Uh, inherent to him. Uh, some of them are related to the uh, pre- uh, previous election, but many of them are related to uh, his former appointment, uh, him, uh, his former terms as the the mayor of the uh, Songnam city, right. and some of them are, you know, governor of the Gyeonggi provinces. If any of those uh, uh, kind of legal uh, uh, suspicion or legal, uh, you know, investigation are uh, proved guilty, then he lost everything. Yeah, exactly. So that's that's well, kind of a big issue. So even though you know the uh, the regular uh, session, one hundred regular session of the National Assembly, have to do a lot of things, but it seems to me that uh, the uh, Democratic Democratic Party, the, ma- uh, the, 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 the major party, uh, will block yeah. every single movement that affects. Uh, the fate of their his, uh, their president, which is their, why their I mean, we're, yeah, which is yeah. why you're seeing the internal conflict there. Uh, yes, unfortunately, right. I wish we had more time. Again, best thing oh. to talk about uh, during Choose okay. a Call Day's uh, politics, and I can't do that at home. So, Professor, unfortunately, we are out of time, but we do thank you very much for joining us today. Happy Choose to you, and looking forward to talking to you again. Yeah, thank you very much, and you're welcome. Thank you. Yeah. You can listen to Korea Now with me, SJ Lee, by downloading the Arirang Radio application or tune in online by visiting www.arirangradio.com. So make sure you tune in Mondays through Fridays, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Korea time.